Now we shall discuss the fifth property of proportion that is convertendo. Now the convertendo says if you have A by B is equal to C by D, then according to convertendo, you will have A by A minus B is equal to C by C minus D, isn't it? So let us prove this one first. The proof is going to be slightly complicated, so please pay your fullest attention. So, what is given here? A by B is equal to C by D. So, if I do cross multiplication, A D is equal to B C. What I will do now? I will subtract both left and right side from A C. So, you will have A C minus A D is equal to A C minus B C. Okay. So, what is common from here now? A, isn't it? So, I will take A common. C minus D, what is common the right side? C, A minus B, done. Now, I will divide both left and right side by A minus B into C minus D, like this. Okay. So, same here, A minus B into C minus D, dividing by this expression. So, now, here C minus D, C minus D cancel, here A minus B, A minus B cancel. What, what will be left here now? A by A minus B is equal to C by C minus D. So, this is the expression for convertendo. Okay. Now, let us try to understand this with the help of an example. Suppose, you have 2 by 3 is equal to 4 by 6. So, if I apply convertendo A by A minus B, so 2 by a minus b 2 minus 3 c by c minus d 4 minus 6 that is 2 by minus 1 is equal to 4 by minus 2 okay. so this is how you're going to apply convertendo in real life questions in the next video we shall be discussing the sixth property that is componendo and dividendo